30 ways to have a happy long distance relationship what to talk about with your long distance partner and more ways to keep it interesting while you're apart so watch this video and keep the spark alive one set clear personal boundaries one of the most important pieces of long distance relationship advice is to set boundaries first and foremost you and your partner need to set some guidelines what is acceptable what is it boundaries related to fidelity are important personal boundaries play a huge role in relationships from afar as well long distance relationships fail because of a lack of trust and invasion of space even if it's just virtual space two pretend you're single yep for real aside from actually having a physical relationship with someone else you can pretty much behave however you want kind of like when you are single do what you want rejoice in your life and your accomplishments post pictures and statuses on social media about how you are and what you have been doing spend time with friends basically enjoy your life the better you know and appreciate yourself the better you can focus on knowing and appreciating your partner when you are together three never spend more than three months apart an important question everyone seeking long distance relationship advice asks is how long you can go without seeing your partner ideally every three months is the minimum although your time frame can vary as long as you agree on it together this is so you don't forget what you love that person in the first place it will also allow you to see how they evolve as a person four don't talk every day you might think talking every single day when you are in a long distance relationship is a must the truth is it's really not necessary and might actually be harmful to your relationship you don't need to be in constant communication keep some of the mystery alive if you go a few days without talking to your would-be partner you will have a more interesting conversation to look forward to in a few days plus keeping tabs on another person and providing them with constant updates can get exhausting five don't rely on technology exclusively in this age of electronic devices you can connect more deeply with your partner by disconnecting snail mail is underrated try sending a love note a please of your favorite colon or perfume it's one of the most touching pieces of long distance relationship advice six know what success means in you it's hard to know whether things are going well in your long distance relationship if you don't have a goal in mind do you want to make it through a short period of separation eventually get married stay married even though your jobs are taking you to different locations having an idea of what success means to you and whether or not you're getting closer to it is key when you're trying to evaluate whether things are working or not seven flat with other people in a way that doesn't escalate of course this may sound risky but harmless flirtation like giving your barista a ring a ring smile or offering a compliment to a stranger can be good for your relationship as long as you are respectful of yourself your partner and the third party you don't have to shut down your sensual side just because you're separated by distance in fact some of the happiest couples use extra relational flirting as kindling to fuel their own flirtation seduction and sexual spark within the relationship eight do things your partner doesn't enjoy maybe you love shopping going to the gym and seeing movies and your partner doesn't like any of those things why not take advantage of your time apart and do as many of those activities as you want this is an excellent way to find a silver lining in your time away from each other nine tell people about the relationship if you are wondering how to make long distance relationships work you'll have to come clean about the fact that you are in one most long distance relationships don't seem as real as in person ones part of this is that there is still some stigma associated with them to make it more normal make sure everyone that matters to you locally that is friends family and people who want to date you knows that you are in a long distance relationship to be clear you don't have to talk about your spouse all the time but keeping them a secret or treating them as an afterthought is a quick way to ruin your relationship's chances of succeeding 10 make sure you are not being 
catfished. This mainly pertains to those who start their relationship from afar. But with online dating being more popular than ever, it's important to mention. There are some amazing long distance relationships. However, there are many people who pretend to be someone they are not. Before getting or staying in a long distance relationship, make sure the person is exactly who they said they are. 11. Be sure you are dating the one. Real talk. The only real reason to engage in a long distance relationship is because you believe they are the one. And it's true. If you are just dating for fun, you might as well do that locally. 12. See fighting as a good sign. This piece of long distance relationship advice will serve you well in any type of relationship. All relationships experience ups and downs. But a study in the Journal of Marriage and Family found that couples who use constructive strategies for resolving disagreements like listening to each other's point of view and trying to make their partner laugh were less likely to break up over arguments. So, instead of skipping out on a conversation that would allow you to get some grievances off your chest, use it as an opportunity to work through things as a team. 13. Don't give them the play-by-play. -play. Why? Well, it's boring. You don't need to share every detail of your day in order to stay connected. If you're only going to talk about your agenda, what you did today and what you are doing tomorrow, you may be better off skipping the phone call altogether. Sometimes updates are necessary and relevant, but if your conversations are reduced to agenda setting, it's unlikely that you'll feel passion regardless of whether you're a part of together. Instead of sharing daily updates, talk about your greatest fears, celebrations, and dreams. Talk about all the things you want to do like G-rated and Rassi once you get together. 14. Remember that your partner isn't perfect. Some partners tend to idealize their relationship and remember it as better than it actually is. Research has shown that couples with more idealization in their relationship are more likely to break up due to an unstable relationship. When you remember just the good things about your spouse, you might be disappointed when you get the chance to see each other again. Instead of building them up in your head to be a perfect partner, Partner, try to keep things in perspective. 15. Don't underestimate thoughtful surprises. Surprises are always welcome in any relationship, but long distance ones may benefit more because the lack of day to day physical interaction. Surprises can be anything from surprise visits to sending small gifts just for the heck of it. Long distance relationships suffer when one or both parties think they are being forgotten or ignored. Special treats say more than just a phone call. All text because of the special attention and time you spend in coordinating it. 16. Consider an open relationship. True, they are not for everyone, but if you're really struggling with being apart, an open relationship may ease the solitude that comes along with long distance relationships. Loneliness can be challenging to overcome. If you and your partner are both comfortable with and agree to it, you each can explore seeing other people people in your area while still being a couple. You'd be surprised how many people are open to dating an already committed individual. 17. Don't get hung up on your schedule. There is nothing more painful than watching someone call their partner because it is 7 p.m. and they talk every night at 7 p.m. It's so rot and forced. If you want to make it through this, you've got to keep things interesting. 18. Know that a bad visit doesn't mean you are breaking up. If you are in a long-term, long-distance relationship, it's normal to have both great and not-so-great visits with your partner. Sometimes the pressure of seeing each other after such a long time can cause tension. Even when you're actually excited to get to catch up with your spouse, if you have a visit that doesn't go as well as expected, don't jump to conclusions about what it means for your relationship. 19. Send sex that requires
require deciphering. Now, let's be real. Sexting is a required part of being in a long distance relationship. But relying on obvious tactics all but ensures things will get boring pretty quickly. Instead of sending clear pics of your hottest body parts, send close ups that require your partner to change angles and shift perspectives in order to make out the full image. Being playful and keeping your partner guessing are both key to passion in a relationship. 20. Have a personal project. If you were in a close distance relationship and now you are in a long distance one, you are going to find yourself with a lot more time on your hands. This is also true if you were previously dating around and are now pursuing just one person who lives far away. Whether it's training a marathon, brewing your own beer, or joining a bowling league, it's a whole full distraction to have something you care about to invest your new phone free time in. 21. Understand that long distance relationships are actually pretty normal. Research shows that 75% of all engaged couples have been in a long distance relationship at some point. When put in perspective, being in a long distance relationship feels like a lot less of a big deal. 22. Have a sex strategy. It might be awkward to talk about, but you've got to have one. Sexual dissatisfaction is one of the main reasons people cheat in long distance relationships. The best way to work around it is to come to a sexual agreement. For some couples, it's regular phone and video sex. For others, it's an open relationship of some kind. There is no best one, but you do need one. 23. Forget about your relationship once in a while. You probably have a lot going on besides your relationship, so focus on that. Take days where you avoid anything that reminds you strongly of them. Doing this a couple days a week can loosen some of the deep attachment such that you miss them less without loving them less. 24. Keep calls short and sweet. Make sure that phone calls, texts, Skype or FaceTime are engaging. Skyping with your partner and being distracted by other things will have a much greater negative impact than doing the same while sitting next to each other. Make sure you engage. 25. Reassure your partner within reason. One of the biggest challenges of long distance relationships is the question of fidelity and commitment. It's hard never being physically present with someone you are in love with. While you do want to make sure you're taking care of yourself first and foremost emotionally, it's also a good idea to support your spouse when you know they really need it. Give them extra assurance when they are doubting whether it can work. 26. Recognize that changes in Inevitable. Research also shows that the most common reasons for long distance relationships not working out is that couples don't usually plan for unexpected changes in the relationship. The amount of time you're apart, your relative locations, and the circumstances of your separation might change over time. Be ready for this and be willing to talk about it instead of shutting down when faced with an unexpected bump in the road. 27. Try having a digital debt. Even if your partner is 6,000 miles away, you can still date. Instead of just having your typical phone call or video chat conversations, try having a proper date night. Pour yourself a glass of wine and have dinner together. Even if it's virtual, it can be a lovely experience as it increases the bonding between each of you and makes you feel more connected. 28. Don't stress about the miles. If you and your partner are within hours of each other, it's not that hard to see each other regularly. But here is a little glimmer of hope for those who are in bicoastal or international relationships. A study published in the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy found that couples with a further physical distance between them were more likely to have better outcomes. Even though it might get tough, it's worth hanging in there. 29. Don't make assumptions. A lot of people think that all long distance situations are doomed to fail. This is definitely not true. But if you find yourself believing it, it could become a soul-fulfilling prophecy. Try to keep a positive mindset and remember that there are millions of other people worldwide who are
are going through the same thing. 30. Place a time limit on the relationship. Very few people are okay with being in a long distance relationship forever. If you are one of those people, then that's good of you. If not, think about how long you are willing to do the long distance thing. Agree with your partner that if the relationship is worth staying in, you will close the distance by one partner moving or both moving to an agreeable location. Also, if the relationship does not grow by a certain time frame, feel free to end the relationship to avoid staying in something that is not suitable. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe button and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment below this video to let me know what you would like to see next and what type of videos you want me to create for you. I will be able to respond back to you as soon as possible. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.